Hello everyone, I am Anudeep. My roll number is 19UC01001. Today I am going to show you how to collect various statistical data from a given three sounds that is fan, train, and speech sounds and generate a confusion matrix for all the three statistical parameters. First, we will be collecting the data from the three audio files and each audio file is of 16,000 hertz frequency. First, we will be reading the audio file using audio read and then we will be normalizing the audio file by using this function. Then, we will be collecting the variance, skewness and the kurtosis of the data into these variables. First, we will be taking the first half that is the first 30 minutes of the audio file and 30 into 60 that is 800, 1800 seconds. So there would be 1800 blocks and in each block there would be 16,000 samples. We will be collecting the variance of the of those 1800 blocks and skewness and kurtosis. Similarly, we will be doing that for fan and speech, speech sounds. Now we will be finding maximum and minimum values of variance, skewness and kurtosis for fan train and speech sounds. Here we will be generating the confusion matrix for kurtosis. Here we will be taking the second half of the audio file that is the next 30 minutes and we will be calculating the kurtosis of that data for train, fan and speech sounds. And then we would be checking if the, if the calculated data is in between the range of the minimum and maximum of the previously calculated courtesies for train, fan and speech sounds. And we will be creating an excel file and loading the data of those courtesies of train, fan and speech sounds. Here we will be generating the confusion matrix for the skewness just as previously done for the courtesies. We will be calculating the data of the second half and we will be checking if the calculated data for the second half is in between the range with that of the calculated data in the first half and then we would be generating the 3 into 3 confusion matrix for the courtesies and similarly loading a excel sheet and similarly for the variance we would be generating a confusion matrix for the variance of the data and checking if it's between the range of the firstly calculated values and generating an excel file. Here I have created a MATLAB GUI which generates the percentile graph and the confusion matrix for the three parameters. Let us run this. Here the user can select the parameter. Let us select courtesy. This is the percentile graph. The red one is the speech, green one for train, and blue is for fan. And this is the confusion matrix for the courtesies. Here, this value 1798 represents out of 1800 out of 1800 blocks, how many are falling in between the range of the firstly calculated courtesies for the train sound. And similarly, out of 1800 blocks, how many are falling in between the range from the firstly calculated courtesies of the fan sound and similarly for speech. Now, similarly, the user can set the parameter as variance and this is the percentile graph and this is the confusion matrix for the variance and skewness. This is the graph for skewness and this is the confusion matrix. So finally, we have completed experiment C by calculating the confusion matrix for the three statistical parameters that is courtesies, variance and skewness.